All of the world is your oyster, but it's Dollar Oyster Friday at Whole Foods, meaning that all of the world is just one dollar. Thank you, Mr. Bezos. I'll take seven. That was a stupid joke. Shut up. While the real world will never be affordable or bendable to our own sadistic will, video game worlds are. And some of them allow us to feel a sense of agency over the mechanics which govern their game worlds through overlapping systems that build and enhance each other to create immersive and experimental play spaces. Water dousing fire, rain creating muddy footprints, mechanics that all communicate with each other based on code I can't even begin to comprehend. I'm at a third grade reading level. So today I want to talk about video games with overlapping systems. Link is a bomb! And he's going to use it to traverse large portions of the game map. The prime example of systems coming together to create an experimental masterpiece is in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, every mechanic stacks on top of one another. If there is a storm, you can pull a metal sword to draw lightning and then throw the sword at an enemy to have the lightning strike them, which may in turn also start a fire that immediately is quenched by falling rain. This is just one example in a crowd of thousands, all of which are at your disposal. Disposal. Every puzzle or problem that faces you within the game can be tackled in a number of unique ways. Can't swim across the water? Cut down a tree and use a leaf as a sail. Can't climb the mountain in front of you? Create an updraft with the fire and glide up. Can't find purpose in the mediocrity of life? Me too. Breath of the Wild is a joyous playground of experimental gameplay, all of which is incredibly satisfying to maneuver through. Its overlapping mechanics are what make it a phenomenal game. But why thrive when you can survive? Transition to the next bit of the video. Survival games love to have overlapping mechanics as it better immerses you into their video game worlds. Minecraft has systems on systems, allowing people to go as far as making a Pokemon game playable on a gigantic Game Boy. Redstone can be harnessed to create traps, lava can be used to create an automatic chicken cooker for whenever you walk in the door, and bookshelves can hide rooms with loot stashes. Many other survival games use these systems to help protect you. Boiling water can nourish you, fire can warm you, and a nice long run can help you forget about your crippling college debt. It's not in the video games, it's just a suggestion. But some survival games use overlapping mechanics against you. In the forest, the island inhabitants react and alter in tons of different ways depending on how you behave. They attack in groups and pull back if you seem to pose a threat. If you build a big base, they will attack in huge numbers to clear your influence, and they even go as far as to put up effigies just to scare you off. Their reactiveness to you makes them so much more spine-crawlingly terrifying. Survival games often don't fully surrender to the idea of overlapping mechanics, but their implementations of these systems create moments of incredible depth and fun. Don't be puzzled to hear that puzzle games also have overlapping mechanics. That was terrible and I'm sorry. They are often implemented to aid the process of breaking your brain as the games stack mechanics to make solutions infuriatingly tough to find, but when you do, the satisfaction of it is unrivaled. Busting through one of Baba Zhu's tricky little levels makes you feel like an Einstein. Maybe a little Einstein. And as the game goes on, mechanics you have previously learned are used in conjunction with new things to keep solutions at the tip of your brain. Portal and The Witness 2 love to teach you new things and then see just how well you can learn and decode with them. All of the games on today's video thrive on coexisting and co-enhancing mechanics, building each other up into a symphony of excellence. I wish more games would attempt to provide this stacking ensemble as it creates a rare sense of autonomy, allowing players to feel gratification in their experiments. But for now, I'm just excited to delve back into all of these games which do provide overlapping systems.